kiwis are wanting something. We're wanting to ditch the traffic jams, the hours spent looking for parking, and growing petrol bills for smarter transport options. We have a chance to catch up to the many other countries and cities that are enjoying better health, more livable cities, and more efficient economies. But the government has other plans with the lion's share of money going into a few costly new highways, the roads of national significance. This doesn't make much sense, with some experts saying that oil prices will double by 2020 and when we know we should be reducing our carbon emissions. Did you know that 40% of our CO2 emissions come from transport alone? Throwing money at projects that don't take account of the big trends shaping our future will lock us in the past and make us worse off in the long run. Good news is, there are smarter ways to invest in our transport future. If we directed less than a quarter of the 12 billion that's going into the new highways, we could triple the budget for walking and cycling improvements for a decade. That's enough cycleways to go from Cape Reinga to the Bluff and back. Support Kiwi Rail and keep its 300 skilled workers who are currently facing job cuts in work for 10 years. Unfreeze the budget for local road maintenance. And fund half of the oh so needed Auckland City Rail Link. This will double the amount of trains going through the city centre. Let's make smart investments now to ensure that Kiwis have a top-notch transport system in the future. You can sign our petition or go ahead to generationzero.org.nz slash 5050 for more info.